Hey everyone, Techno Manager here with a video for you guys. Now, if you're finding that slide to answer is not working on your iPhone, you're gonna go ahead and follow these steps to fix it. So let's get started. So first thing I usually like to do is take a microfiber cloth and just wipe down the phone here. The reason why that is that if you have any sort of liquid, dirt, grime, or anything that's basically on the screen, debris that could be interfering with the touch itself may not recognize your finger and it could be as simple fixed as that another thing to also consider is if you have a damaged broken temper glass that you're using or a screen protector you may consider replacing that as well as sometimes that can interfere with it or if there's liquid that gets in it will also interfere with it or if you've recently installed a new one and you notice this issue it could be that temper glass isn't compatible and along with that is if you have any set of case that may have a covering as well that can interfere with it. Now, once you get that out of the way, the next thing to go ahead do is you're gonna follow these steps. Once you have made sure that your phone is cleaned up, is you're gonna quickly press and release the volume up and then quickly press and release the volume down and then hold on to the side button until the screen goes completely black. So I'm gonna do volume up, volume down, and then I hold on to the side button just like that. And this time it's gonna see the message of the slide to power off but do not need to touch that or any part of the screen during this process. Just keep on holding that side button until the screen goes completely black and you see the Apple logo appear at that time, you'll let go of that side button. And again, all I did was quickly press and release the volume up and then volume down one after another before holding on to the side button. And again, when you do this process, try not to touch the screen at all. Let it turn off completely and then reload the code and that should go ahead and and fix it for you. Now, if you're still finding that it is an issue, the next thing you wanna do is go into your setting here, go to general, software update, and you wanna go ahead and update the software on your iPhone. And the reason is sometimes a previous update might have caused issues where functionalities like slide to answer might have been causing issues. You're gonna go ahead and update your phone as well. Now, if you update your phone and you're still finding issue, the next thing you're gonna to wanna to do is go into your iPhone settings, go to general and then scroll all the way down to where it says transfer reset iphone click on reset and you're going to do a network reset basically a network resets resets things around your network settings like saved wi-fi bluetooth connected devices any network connectivity issue that may be causing that slide to answer not to work correctly and after doing that it should be fixed and by following these steps your phone should be fixed and i hope this video was helpful if so please consider the like and subscribe button for more tips and tricks for your iphone and other ios devices we'll see you guys next time